Hi there, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate gotcha. 2. I'm Baron. And we're still trying to get the contents of that chest. But everyone is freaking out. Okay, she's feeling better now. Good to go. Okay. You disabled the fucking trap. <laughs> she panicked again. Ah, she, but she disarmed the trap. That's good. The point is... There's nothing in that room, right? I guess not. Okay, she's feeling better now. Let's try again, shall we? Right you are. And return. So, but we didn't get any tear here. Weird. Jump on my sword while you can, evil. I won't be as gentle. Yes. Okay. Consider it done. Ah, oh, we are all heroes. You and Boo and I, hamsters and rangers everywhere, rejoice! Where's the exit? would be welcome, lest we endanger ourselves. The spirit is willing, my friend, <sighs> but this old and battered body demands rest. Yeah, well... We first. must rest soon. Who is getting squirrely? <laughs> oh, I'm getting sleepy. Oh, my wait, wait. Ah, now. what's that? I will do my best. You have faced your fear without resorting to the protection and power of evil. The tea of Baal is yours. Uh -huh. Aha! Oh, my legs are just aching. I've never walked so much in my life. They should highlight those Can things we rest when now? you Please. press tab. Why are you being stupid? Move. Hey, fuck it, move! Thanks. Yes. Damn it. <sighs> Rest would be welcome, lest we endanger yes, ourselves. Yes, the spirit yes. is willing, my friend. <sighs> but this old and battered body demands rest. You're going to rest. We must rest soon. Boo is getting swirly. Huh? Better? Good. Very well. Know you, child, that there is a tear of ball in this place before us. <laughs> Yet there are two paths that lead to it. Two doors, two paths, yet both lead to your goal. Yes? 
Yes. You have made many choices on the journey that was your life. Many paths have you taken, and always they have had an effect on those around you, even when that was not your intention. Such is the fate of those born with destiny. The consequences of the actions they take ripple about them throughout all that is reality. Perhaps the fate of others concerns you little. Perhaps it consumes your soul. That too is a choice, an action taken, a ripple set into the pond of reality. What does all this have to do with the tear then? The path that you take to the tear will affect another this day. Another who is innocent of the action you take, and yet affected by it just the same. One of those who travels with you who orbits your destiny and yet is innocent of your taint, will do nicely. Remember, child of Ball, a choice must be made, and you must live with the consequences of that choice. <laughs> Go to my left and sacrifice for the innocent. Go to my right and save yourself. And somebody's taken away. Minsk. Okay, to his left. That would mean... To my left and sacrifice for the innocent. That mean this door. would mean this door here. And to the right and save yourself. Hell no, I'm not... I'm not gonna sacrifice Minsk. You've lost two hit points from your maximum hit point level. Boo! You have lost one dexterity point. Boo! A Experience. selfless act from one who willingly shoulders the burden of destiny and its effect upon others. Your companion is returned to you, child of Baal. The tear of Baal is yours, child. Hmm. Fine. I mean, uh, dexterity bothers me, but the uh, 19 is still good. <sighs> I have enough hit points, I and mean, my 91 hit points for a mage is quite decent. And experience. Pff, I can always get new experience. What is my task? So we save and take a look at that thingy here. More potions. Potions are always welcome. And yeah, okay. I uh, don't know what you would have done to Minsk, but probably nothing nice. Okay, now we have three tiers of ball. I think we need five. One of the tears does lie near this very place. It is in the possession of another. One with so much power, so difficult to defeat it is. But all things, even the most powerful, can be overcome, yes. You have defeated many whose claims of power were so hollow. You tore them down from their thrones. What does that have to do with the tear? Ah, 
Always you have used the right tools to defeat your foes, yes. And I am giving you now the right tool to defeat this one. Here it is. Gaze upon the soul that is named Black Racer. Most powerful it is, and it is the tool you need to defeat the one who holds the tear. It is for you to decide, child of Baal, how to use the tool you have. I leave you to your choice then. Young lord of this place. All right, what did you get? Black razor, long sword plus three. This sword radiates evil like a sour odor, and the owner never knows if he wields the weapon or if it wields him. In addition to its combat abilities, Black razor slowly regenerates its owner with the drained strength of the opponent. Immunity to charm and fear, that's good. Dr yeah, 50% chance of draining four levels. Woohoo. Yeah, it's a good weapon, but then again, it's an evil one. So let's save and see what we can do about it. As you ask. Oh. Do we get hurt here? I see the ruler of this small plane has come to me. Perhaps my eternal torment shall be relieved at long last. Oh, I can only hope. Eternal torment? What do you mean by that? <sighs> it is a punishment. I have been brought to this plane to hold the tear of Baal, and I shall remain for eternity until certain conditions are met. And what conditions might those be? I cannot tell you directly, my lord. It is a condition of my punishment that I can only tell you of its nature in a riddle. Listen carefully. Ye who hold the razor's blade, forged of the darkest iron, quenched by blood and fear, know that ye hold the key to the one who guards Baal's sacred murdered tear. So let me get this straight. The sword black razor is the key to getting the tear of Baal from you. I cannot answer that, my lord. So if I were to give you a black razor, would you give me the tear? And that would release you from your punishment? It would, my lord. Take the sword then. I have no need of it. I am most grateful to you then for my release. Oh, may the heavens sing your praises for this charity you have showed me. My lord. 20,000 XP. Yay! And we got it here. Okay, that was rather easy. Who got the tear? You got the tear. Four. There's apparently nothing to get here. You can get to that spot anyway. And that's a dead end. It here. shall be. Is that right? Yeah, it looks like. I approve heartily of the path that has been taken so far. The good has been upheld. I know. Nice, right? Let's go. <coughs> so, I think one last set of stair remains. Consider it done. Then we have all five thingies. Tears. So, down we go. Hmm? What? So we meet again. How fitting that our reunion should be in this place of retribution. Saravok? It is I. Or an echo, perhaps. My essence joined that of our dead father after you murdered me, after all. But in the end... 
All the children of Ball end up here. I did not murder you. It was a fair fight. You tried to kill me, but I was better. That's not murder. I have one of the tears of Ball you will need. I will not hand it over to you, however. You do not deserve it. Deserve it? What do you mean by that? I mean you are a pathetic worm, a sniveling little cretin. I relished spitting Gorion on my blade, and were there true justice, our positions would be reversed now. You dare speak of Gorion. Ah, yes. Stoke that infernal wrath of yours. I can feel the anger within you, boiling like a pit of sulfur in the crevices of your heart. You feel it, do you not? The taint that surrounds your soul like a serpent, squeezing it, spreading its venom. That taint, that wrath exists in all the children of Baal, but few know how to use it. You have become the slayer, have you not? The avatar of our dead father. The blackest expression of murder. I see it behind your eyes. Summon your wrath for me, if you can. No, I will not give in to the taint. You were the one who brought me here. Your power over this place has summoned forth my essence once again. And why do you think you have done that? I can teach you how to use your wrath. You can control the taint, direct it, summon it at will. You can become the slayer at will and become the weapon of murder that you were meant to be. I will not become a weapon. So think of me. Think of how I destroyed your precious Gorion. How I plundered the lives of your Candlekeep. Summon your rage. Stir the depths of your black heart. Summon wrath. Summon wrath and become it. Because if you cannot, then you are not worth your destiny. It should have been I. It should have been I. Attack me, worm, if you dare! Hmm, I don't feel the wrath you claim, Saravok. I pity you and what you have become. But that is all. Then you were never worthy of Bald's blood, and I shall crush you where you stand! You're welcome to try. He tries to attack. No. <laughs> I think you don't stand you a chance. You will fall yet. That's not right. Injured. Must get it. Oops. Retreat. Live by the sword. Live a good long time. He's badly injured. Ah. <sighs> Uh, on second thought, we could try a chromatic orb. Rarely use those. You heal him. And you could cast a web. About here. You will fall yet. Minsk is healed. And off we go. What did the chromatic orb do? Magic resistance. Didn't do anything, fuck it. Should have lowered resistance first. Ah, it's, it's really not worth it. I mean, the chromatic orb is in theory a good thing, but. See, boom, you die. Everybody, I wait your word. back. And who got the tear? Hey, we got the tear. Okay. It shall be. Anything else to get here? <sighs> Saving for a special.
When thrown, the sphere heads unerringly to the target. The effect uh, varies with the level of the mage. Each orb will do damage to the target against which there is no save, and an effect against which the target must have save versus spell at plus 6. At first level, the sphere inflicts 1 to 4 damage and blinds the target for one round. Second level, third level, fourth level, sixth level. Hmm. At twelfth level, the sphere will inflict two to sixteen points of damage and instantly kill the target. Uh, the victim saves versus spells at plus six against the effects and gets no save versus the damage. So he apparently he took the two to sixteen points of damage, which is really nothing, and saved against the effect. Hmm. Okay. So, well, if the effect kicks in, then the chromatic orb is useful. But if not, I guess one should just stick to magic missiles. So we have five tiers of ball now. Ghost of Cell Rock is fucked. We leave. Consider it done. And I guess now we have to do some healing. And some buffing. That's probably now. I'll give him another one. No need to be stingy here. Okay, time to do some buffing again. I forgot. Take off the ring. And the armor. Yes. Nature's servant awaits. On my honor. I know. So, blur. 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 What do you require? Mirror image. Um. Didn't you cast your blur yet? No. Why didn't you do it? Blur, I said. Mirror image. Okay, Ari casted her blood. I'll help however I can. And now, um, the mirror image. I Thanks. await your need. Iron skins. Thank you. You cast a defensive harmony. You cast, um, where is it? Protection versus evil. Manus. You cast draw upon holy might. You cast, um, 
It's done. You cost nothing. Oh. Yeah, protection for magical weapons, perhaps. Okay. You cast um, chant. You cast a uh, haste. And you cast a mass invisibility. Very well. I think we are buffed. All right, all right. Everybody, form up here. I will do my best. Safe. Pause. And now... <clears throat> yes. We should go to that door here. Immune to plus one weapons, plus ten magic resistance, plus two to saving throws, plus twenty resistance to fire, cold and electricity, and plus one to wisdom and charisma. And everybody gets thrown away. There is Iranicus again. So we are to battle one last time. No more hiding for either of us. I will enjoy destroying you, Hey blow me. To die in this place is to cease to exist. I am ready to face you. I have seen the depths of my soul and I'm not afraid. Yes, perhaps you are focused within yourself despite the loss of your soul. But I know as much of myself as well and I too have no fear. As horrific as this place is, it merely mirrors the soul we now share. Shrink from it if you will, but I have grown to appreciate what, I, what it can offer. Now defend yourself. One of us is not truly dead and may be restored if the other is left here to rot. I will be free with what I have taken. There is only one possible end. You will fall here, Renicus. That I promise. We shall see, hey, which I blow me. We shall see. Justice is on our side this day. And in Tyr's name we shall be victorious once and for all. I came to hell to help my friend. Who helped you, Irenicus? Demons? You were going to die alone in hell and you know it. That's right, Ari. No more platitudes, Irenicus. You have taken much from all of us. Now you die your final death. I grow tired of shouting battle cries when fighting this mage. Boo will finish his eyeballs once and for all so he does not rise again. Evil? Meet my sword! Sword! Meet evil! This is the last stand here in hell. We fall or we win. Oh great, he summoned a few monsters. Okay, um, first of all... Fine. The mage is... Retreat. Very Ooh, fall, creature, and feed the earth. Thank you. And now that we did that, oh, of I course, stand ready. I always forget your true seeing. Now we give those monsters something to think about. What do we have here? Dragon's breath in your face.
Yeah, why not? Use that too. Comet. Okay. And now all that is left is the Slayer. What? He's teleporting around like a crazy ass? I'll hurt you if I have to next time. A dangerous mistake. Tom, take you. Oh well, I must say this battle was much easier. Go to hell. Oh no wait, you're already there. Ah, I see that you have finally come to. I almost did not believe it when the priestesses told me that your body was showing signs of life once again. We resurrected who we could, but it seemed nothing would draw your spirit back. We were about to give up when you began to stir this morning. Huh. How long was I? Dead? A couple of days, no more. However you managed to find your way back, it is good that you have done so. You have done a great service for Salda Nesselar. You saved the tree of life and myself, ending Irenicus's threat. To lose you would have been tragic. I have planned a ceremony to reward you and to show our gratitude for, our ac for your actions. You are a hero to the elves, perhaps even a legend in the making. But enough of that for the moment. You will need to rest and regain your strength. I will send a priestess to awaken you when it is time. Sencha Hira. Those of you who have survived the return of the exile to Soldan SLR know me, your queen. But only some of you know the hero beside me, who was most instrumental in saving our city and the Tree of Life. Such selfless acts almost resulted in the loss of your life, and perhaps much more than that. These deeds were not performed alone. Seldon Nesselar also extends its gratitude to those who have traveled with you and fought by your side to help save our city. There is no reward adequate enough for one who has done so much. Let us offer, then, the eternal thanks of our people and an amulet of the Seldarine to remind you forever that you are welcome here amongst us. As for the man whom we once knew as John Aleth, I can only say that he died long ago. He lives in my memory still. To the man he became, the exile Erenicus, he who performed atrocities on you, the tree, and his former people, to him I can only send my prayer that he finds the peace in death he never found in life. I feel I must apologize on his behalf for what he put you and your friends through. For his madness, we stripped Jonaleth of his elven immortality and exiled him, only to create Irenicus instead. I cannot help but feel we are partly responsible. It is something I shall have to ponder on. As for you, I imagine you are eager to resume your travels once again. We wish you well. Know we look forward to your return in the future, should you desire to. No, not dead yet. Like this!
always comes down to the platform. Ryan's ward has become too powerful. We should have acted long before now. There is no reason to be concerned. The fate of this fool has been sealed. But can we be so sure? This spawn of Baal is doomed. There is no escape. We shall see about that. There is no peace for a child of Baal. You've learned this lesson time and again, as all who are close to you suffer because of your tainted blood. When John Irenicus fell, you had hoped for some sort of respite, but peril follows you like pestilence. The time of the prophecy has come. Five powerful Baal spawn have arisen leading their armies across the Sword Coast, slaughtering their weaker siblings and innocents alike in a wave of massive destruction. Like wildfire, panic spreads before the armies of the Five, and those suspected of being children of Baal are cast out and revived. Even in Sultan Esselar, unease grows into fear at your presence. Queen Elysim urges you to visit a sacred grove where the ancients might shed light on your fate. You wonder what part you will play in the dreaded prophecy and how long before its culmination devours your soul. <laughs> Only one thing seems certain. So long as Baal's throne of blood stands empty, Chaos shall reign. How come this one god is so important? I hope this is not... Okay. So welcome to the throne of Baal. <laughs> we are apparently finished Baldur's Gate 2 now and are in the expansion. But this video has been going on for quite some time now. So we will take a break and continue on the next one. So, thank you very much for watching and see you soon.